Under Obamacare, every state has a choice. It can either create its own state-based insurance exchange or have its residents use a national one. Many conservative lawmakers hoped they would not have to make that choice at all. So I have to take some time and really learn and understand all the finer points because, to be quite honest, I didn't learn about, a lot about Obamacare because I was, I was convinced we were going to be able to repeal it. Uh, now we are dealing with a reality that's totally different, so I guess I'll have to start from scratch. Originally, states had until this Friday, November 16th, to submit plans for state-based exchanges. This week, however, Washington extended that deadline to December 14th. Time is still tight, though, and Governor Walker's office is considering two competing and compelling arguments on whether or not Wisconsin should set up its own exchange. I know that they have a group who's looking at this to see what all of our uh, possible um, discussion points are. Some people have said that if we have a state-based exchange, it gives us uh, more flexibility. Some people have said that if we don't have a state-based exchange, it allows taxes to not be levied on our citizens. And I don't know which one's right. Regardless of whether Wisconsin decides to establish its own exchange, there is nothing state lawmakers can do to shield employers from the harsh realities of the law. If an employer has 50 or more workers, it must provide health insurance to its full-time employees and its part-time employees who work more than 30 hours a week. Unfortunately, I think that we're going to see an increase in unemployment as more and more people say, I need to be below 50 or I'm going to start dumping my employees into the exchange and letting the federal government pay the subsidy. Um, I worry that many times that this was Barack Obama's plan as the first step toward creating a one-size-fits-all socialized medicine scheme. And unfortunately, we are taking the first step toward that route. Uh, my job as the leader of conservatives is just to simply say, how do we change that? How do we change the dynamic and try to go back to the basic concepts of free market health care, where you should choose your own doctor using your own uh, best interests and not hope that some bureaucrat in a faraway land knows better than you and your family do. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.